What's up guys, welcome to Not Week Central, my name is Ivani, welcome to a video, once again, right after my highlight video, this one will be the weekly review that I always do every week, I'm um, sorry for the glare, but like, my glasses are in the way, anyway, Napoli won the game 3-0, if you haven't seen the video of me kind of like commentating or talking over the highlights, because most people ask me for highlights, you can go look at the highlights, I'll put a link to it, probably over here or something, or I'll just put a, a picture of it now, um, and then you can go check it out on the channel it's, it's already up so um now we really dominated this game um really just the first half was kind of slow um in the sense that Udinese did a really good job of sitting back um well not sitting back but defending well so every time Napoli went on offense it was really like there were seven or eight defenders there's like two lines of four def uh defenders for for the whole Udinese squad so it's like the four defenders and then the four midfielders all joined in and stopped Napoli from really doing much. So the center backs were clogging Napoli's offense. Um, you know, we're like really limiting Mertens, who really only had like one chance in the first half. Um, and then besides that, the wings were kind of clogged too as well. Like just Insigne and, you know, even Strinich on the support and Hamsi laying it off to Insigne or on Callejon and Husai's side. Um, not really much going on. We did get a lot of corners in that first half, but. I mean, we all we all know that uh, Napoli can't really take corners, and that's why we didn't really profit from them. The, the only chance Napoli ever had on the corner was Albiol's header in the first half, which was actually probably the best chance Napoli had during that first half. But yeah, it was it wasn't much, and it, it then all three goals happened in the second half. I guess Napoli was just able to after they got that first one, it kind of broke open. I guess Udinese was kind of going for a result, you know what I mean? Um, but the first goal came in the 40th minute, Mertens. Scores once again. Um, he's been productive all season long, and it was a beautiful pass from Jorginho uh, to the ground through a ball, and you know it was just got through everybody. Mertens was able to get onto it and slot it past Carnesis. Um, good goal, and a be even better pass from Jorginho. I think the stats. What are the stats for Jorginho today? He probably probably was man of the match. Him and Alan were amazing in the midfield. Um, he probably had like I don't know. I think I was seeing 123 out of 130 passes completed. Jorginho looks like he's back to his old self. You know, he's, um, I remember the first season he came under Benitez. Um, he was amazing when we got him in January, and, and he just keeps looking like his old self. So we need that every week. Um, and then speaking of Alan, he scores a second goal. So both midfielders got in the action. Uh, Jorginho with the assist, but Alan with the goal against his former team. Uh, he didn't really celebrate, which obviously shows the character of the guy. He has respect for his old club. Um, but he was able to get in there. If you look at the highlights, he was able to, I mean, obviously kind of, Tried to, I guess, get it on forward to Callejon, but the defender for Udinese got in the way. Alan was able to grab it from his feet and just shoot a bullet. I mean, the guy it was literally a bullet of a shot. It was a rifle. Um, I was looking at my phone, and then I looked at the, sh the screen, and it was 2-0. I was like, what What happened? So, um, a beautiful goal from him. And then uh, the three came from Callejon in the 72nd minute uh, in the form of a one-touch volley, actually, off kind of a rebound, I guess, or... Um, I think Hamsik was trying to pass it into the box, and then it was a deflection. I'm not. I don't really recall it yet, but um, yeah, Callejon able to finish it. Insigne actually started with the back heel. Um, the ball ended up in the air. Insigne almost went for a bicycle, but Callejon was able to volley it home for a three zero. Um, and then on, then on, you know, Napoli did suffer two real, kind of scary chances. One, Zapata, their own player, hitting the post on a header. Guy is crazy. His physical game is crazy. He's just like carries people with him. It's it's actually insane. Um, but he doesn't have a, a place on Napoli, and that's what's sad. Um, and then another chance in the end where, I don't, I don't know, there was, like, so many bodies in the box, and Rain was able to kind of, like, smack the ball out of the air and clear it out. So um, those were it. That, those were the big chances. And so Napoli was able to seal it 3-0. You know, Rog made an appearance. Um, Zelensky came on. But Milik came on. I really wanted Milik to score, and he almost did, actually. Kayon kind of was able to feed him a ball, but it was just – out of his reach, he tried to stretch out for it. Miller couldn't do it. Um, but you know, and Sternich also has been playing so so good. I think I would start him for the rest of the year over Gulam. Um, he's been more consistent in the back, and even though he's not offensive and he might not cross in the ball like Gulam, you know, Gulam wasn't doing too too good of a, a job at that. So I think Sternich deserves to start for at least the coming games until something happens, you know. Um, so yeah, I hope Miller gets a goal soon, but. Other than that, great performance. It was it was one team on the field. It wasn't like really Napoli, Napoli dominated in possession, um, and just did a great job. So that's it for this week. 
on the review. Go check out both of it. Obviously, you're watching this, but go check out the highlight video as well. Quick shout outs, obviously, always to the Semper Podcast. Go check them out on Twitter and go check them out on um, on iTunes. I'll put a picture up right here. You can go follow them there. Um, James, Darren, and Rafa do a great job every week. If you're an English speaking Notley fan, you have to listen to their podcast. Um, and then also go check out SSCN America for all of you who are English speaking like myself, also don't understand Italian or whatnot. You want to stay up to date during the match, during transfer season. My, me and my friend Daniel run that page, but Daniel does a great job. We just hit a thousand on there, so thank you for that as well. Um, go check that out. I also have a picture up here while I'm talking about it. So please hit this like button down below, subscribe to the channel. It would really help out a lot. Um, we're past 30 subscribers now, so hey, we're going somewhere. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So have a great Easter, right? Have a great blessed one, and I will see you guys later. Forza Napoli Sempre. Ciao.